Well, a historic home built in the 1800s in the heart of Elmira is up for sale. WENY's Marsha Augustine stopped by that home, which I consider a mansion today, and she shares some of the history and the unique charm. Marsha? That's right, Nick. This house is so big. It literally, I literally got lost in there and I couldn't find my way out. But I got to tell you, although there is a lot of work that needs to be done inside, I was wowed by the charm and the character of this historic landmark. This house has always been very, very important to Elmira and its history, and it could be that again with the right owner. Take a look at this 19th century home that sits at 350 West Church Street. It's part of the Near West Side Historic District. This house was once the Ritz Carriage House. It's now known as the Richardson Kennedy House. J.D. Isles, real estate agent with the Hidden Landmarks Home Team with Keller Realty, tells me its architecture has a unique story as we went from room to room and floor to floor. It was built in 1870 by Jackson Richardson, president of the J. Richardson Boot and Shoe Company. In 1910, the owner of Kennedy Valve lived in the home for decades before a new owner purchased it. Come 1958, a gentleman by the name of Don Paul Dean bought it, converted it into apartments, a beauty school, and also a well-known hair salon known as the Ritz Carriage Salon. In 2007, unfortunately, there was a major fire that caused severe damage to the home. Then the West Side Neighborhood Association took over the building. Now they are selling the house and looking for a new owner. The three-story home has high ceilings, large windows, and scenic views, J.D. says. The only thing it needs is some TLC. The challenge is restoring it to its former grandeur, but on the plus side, um, it's a fantastic challenge to paint the next chapter in this house's history. So I'm standing here in the tower room of the house. JD tells me this home is 11,500 square feet and there are dozens of rooms in here. Although it's currently non-livable, the next owner can transform it into something stunning. This home is basically a blank slate. Um, there are, there's some original woodwork there are some original fireplaces, but really I think the power of this building is it can become just about anything. Now, the only restrictions as far as renovations that can be made to the home, JD tells me, is the next owner would have to keep the exterior of the building in its Victorian style. And so how much is this house being sold for? Well, $150,000, Nick. 